This is the circuit that I've implemented using the 40192 uh, BE. This is the BCD up down counter. So I want to wire it up so that it is in up configuration and that it's going to count from 0 to 9 and then back to 0 again. So here's the circuit that I, I connected up. It's connected to a 555 timer which is going to drive the uh, clock signal into the counter. So we'll just power it up and, and see what happens. So you can see here our circuit is working you know, it's working correctly. I'll just go through that in a second. Um, this LED down here indicates the clock cycle. So it's a clock cycle of about uh, 1 hertz. It's flashing every half a second. Uh, the clock signal here is the green wire that goes out. So the green wire here comes out of the 555 timer and that goes into uh, pin 5 of, the, uh, of this uh, BCD up down counter. Pin 5 is clock up. If you read the specification as we saw you see that, the, you see that pin 4 has to be connected to high for it to, for it to work as a, an up counter. We also have uh, VDO or VCC is pin 16 is connected to high. Uh, pin 8 is connected to uh, VSS which is connected to ground. And then I've got my output pins, but before that I also have to connect the, the re preset enable pin. You see it's, it's, it's active when it's high, so we, or sorry, active when it's low. So we have to connect that pin 11 to, to, to um, high. So this is pin 11 connected to high. And then you'll also see that pin 14, the reset pin, to reset, this, this chip has a function to be able to reset. Um, we have to set this to ground. So pin 14 is connected to ground. So that means that this counter, BCD up down counter, is now an up count configuration. And every time it receives a pulse, uh, uh, a, a transition from low to high on the green wire into pin 5, it will count by 1. The outputs then are Q1 to Q4, and I've wired them across uh, with the resistor to an LED to ground. And here you can see the count. So just let's start back to 0 now in a second. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. So you can see that this first test configuration works perfectly. It's counting from 0 to 9 and back to 0 again. So now we're going to connect this up to our 7 segment display.